Clarify fire signs Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what will happen if you cut ties with your person. So what will happen if you decide to walk away, disconnect here? I guess this reading here is more tailored to those of you that have been pondering about disconnecting with someone, um, walking away, you know, detaching yourself from someone in a specific situation. We want to see what, um, what, how things might result and how things might end up for you guys if you do decide to walk away here. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So let's give the cards a shuffle and begin. Wow, some strong messages. Okay, this one fell off camera and one more. Okay, the Eight of Cups, but in reverse. Um, some very strong messages here from what I'm sensing. Now, first and foremost, I feel like before you walk away, you really need to hear this message with the Three of Pentacles. Make sure that when you do decide to walk away and when you finally make that decision, you have given it your all. Because from what I see with this connection here, and especially with the Three of Pentacles, it feels like there just may be still something worth holding on to. Or it feels like something here can still be salvaged or repaired or you may not have necessarily exhausted all of your options with regards to this person and this connection here. Um, I can sense that some of you have been under the influence of this storm or this tower moment. And um, there's been, it's quite a destructive kind of energy. The tower card in itself, it has quite an ominous, a threatening kind of presence. And I know some of you have like continued to weather the storm time and time again. But from what I can see, I feel like there, I feel like your romantic energy here would be willing to work with you and willing to resolve through any issues that the two of you have. I'm also seeing that there is an additional third party situation which might really assist you guys with working through some of these things that are hindering your connection. So for instance, um, it feels like professional advice. It feels like this is someone you could work with to build a future together. So I'm leaning towards saying couples therapy or um, therapy, counseling in general, you know, as individuals, as a couple here, especially with the Three of Pentacles. I'm also seeing that you do have, like for instance, connecting energies around you who are vouching for you and this person. And even if things don't work out, you just need to know that there are people around you who love you and who want the best for you. And I feel like they would be very supportive regardless which decisions you make. So as long as those decisions that you do end up making are in your best interest and benefit you here. Um, so what will happen if you walk away? Look, it's not going to be easy. You know, walking away is never easy. Sometimes staying in a situation is harder still. But to me, it feels like before you walk away, as I've mentioned earlier, make sure you've given it your all. Make sure when you do walk away, your head is held high and you've tried, okay? And, you know, your shoulders aren't sagging. They're not slouched. Your head is not lowered thinking, okay, what could have been? What if I tried harder? So make sure you give it your all and make sure your person is giving it their all as well. So that if, you know, even after giving it your all, if think if, sorry, if things are still not working out, as I've mentioned, at least you can walk away with your dignity intact and at least you can walk away knowing that you've tried and knowing that, you know, you've given it your all and there was nothing left for you to give anymore. So for some of you, I feel like maybe walking away or distancing yourself from this person could actually shift things, okay? And especially, um, it could shift the energies, the emotions, um, it's especially what's going on between the two of you here because I feel like... For some of you, what I'm seeing is, especially with the presence of the tower moment, for some of you, and it may not be for all of you, so I guess you're just going to have to see how things pan out. 
sometimes something that collapses here okay something that falls apart does so because it can come back together again um, in a much better way so this is what I'm getting for some of you sometimes it takes walking away to make someone realize how much they love you or they miss you or just what they stand to lose sometimes when things fall apart even though it seems like a um, you know, it seems like a misfortune, but it's really a blessing in disguise because the reason why it's falling apart is that you could take this opportunity and take this chance here to do some renovating, to rebuild your structure, to rebuild your connection here, to rebuild that friendship, that, you know, relationship here. So it's, um, it's like a second chance for some of you. Okay, and it's a second chance. Sometimes we don't get it right the first time. We don't. And sometimes... The best things in life um, begin off on the wrong foot or the wrong turn, okay? Um, and I feel like this is kind of one of those things, guys. I really do. I feel like you guys still have something here that's worth salvaging or worth repairing or at the very least try. Because if you don't... And when I mean try, it can't just be you doing all the trying. If you're the one that's doing all the trying and you're the one that's trying to keep this connection afloat when your person is not invested, then no, this message is not for you because that's how you know your person is not the one. And that's how you know that there's an open space um, and an opening for you to walk away, okay? Because someone who wants to stay in your life, it doesn't take them convincing to do so, okay? They would want to stay on their own accord here. So... Um, Walking away meant, will mean that it's going to shift things for you, okay? It's going to get you a perspective. It's going to give you some mental space to do some thinking. But it's also going to give your person that space to also do some self-reflecting, some analyzing, some introspection, just some thinking here. Um, because to me, it feels like things fall apart so they can come back together with the Four of Wands energy. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, he tells us that this is... This is destined, this is fated. I feel like the two of you have been brought into each other's lives for a reason. Nothing is by chance, nothing is random, nothing is coincidence, everything is interconnected. And it is a very small world. Even though you've had a lot of emotional intricacies and complexities in this connection, um, you know, no, nothing worth it, like, nothing good comes easy, okay? It, it takes... It it feels like even though you have been through a lot with this person, okay, um, it does, to me, it feels like there's still, it's almost like there's still a part of destiny or there's still potential that this connection holds that is yet to be realized, that is yet to be manifested, that is yet to be, you know, um, that is yet to flourish, so... For me, it feels like someone here who walks away does so not because this person is walking away here because they want to see the other person do the chasing and they want to be hunted. It's not that. It feels like this person is walking away because they feel as though they're not being loved enough or they feel as though they're doing the loving alone. Um, and the funny thing happens is sometimes when people come apart here, sometimes coming apart essentially can bring someone closer together and this is what it's feeling like because I'm seeing that something is going to shift if you do decide to cut ties pull away or walk away from someone especially if you've been giving this a lot of thought and if you feel like this is going to serve in your best interest here I feel like it will really put your person in a position where they will realize just how much they stand to lose when you do decide to walk away okay just how much they value you and just how much they value your connection here because there is the sprouting wand which tells me that you guys have been through a lot together and there's still a lot that the two of you that the universe has in store for the both of you so i feel like the two of you have not you're not finished with each other yet not just yet and i feel like this connection still has life in it okay and sometimes people break break up and you know, they separate, they go separate ways and, you know, destiny will bring them back together again, whether it's months on or years on. And this, it, this feels like it's destined and it feels like the destiny of this connection has not yet been fully realized, but you should not stay in a connection that is threatening your peace of mind, or you should not stay in a connection where you're always having to second guess your value or, you know, just how much they're truly committed to you or not. So, 
don't worry so much about what will happen when you walk away. Focus more on what will, like, what will, what lies ahead of you when you do, if that makes sense. So don't worry so much about, you know, what, what happens behind you when you walk away and who you leave behind. Focus more on when you walk away, what is it that you're walking towards? And that to me feels like it's a brighter future. It's a possible recon reconciliation. It's a possible re reconnection here. All right, guys, and these are your messages. So thanks for watching and listening. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Uh, please show your support by subscribing, liking, or commenting. Um, thanks again. Bye for now.